All right, Mr. Tom Siler, the famous Siler. We are uh, going to talk about the middle years. And where did you go to high school? I went to Cortez High School uh, between 64 and 68. What were some of your favorite memories of high school? You know, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of favorite memories. I was, really wasn't involved in high school. Um, but, uh, you know, going to the sporting events, uh, I did have some close friends. And we were, we were kind of outsiders uh, when I was in high school. Um, and, you know, just going to sporting events, um, you know, Alice Cooper was going there then, so... Oh, Alice was, Cooper went to yeah, your school? Yeah, so he was ahead of me, but he was, I was taking an art class in high school. I got to see him all the time, and, you know, him and, uh, and the other guys in the band, uh, they ended up being in the band. Did you ever get to play with them? Because I knew you no, played against... No, no, okay. No, no, they were, they, they were ahead of me in school, so they were much further along. I don't know that they played instruments at that time. I think they were all beginners like me, but... Uh, it first started out for them, they, they were doing parodies, you know what I mean? Karaoke kind of things, and, and it morphed into, you know, Alice Cooper. But, um, so I had that connection with them. I, I loved art, I loved my art teacher, um, uh, but it really wasn't all that involved. Who did you date in high school? Oh boy. Uh, well, I, I want to tell you right now, I didn't date as often as as many Janine did. But, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 her name was Nancy. Was uh, and I kind of dated a couple, but Nancy, there was some uh, some time involved there. Uh, Nancy Underwood, and we we were together for almost two years, and um, but you know it didn't work. You know she, she 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 was interested in some things. I wasn't interested in her things, and you know again, but she was really nice, and, and we had fun. We laughed together a lot. So yeah. Nancy, how long did you guys date? Almost uh, two school two school years. I think it was a little less than that, but yeah. two school man, that's a long term. Yeah. yeah. What were your yeah, favorite subject in high school? Obviously, art was one. Well, of Art them. was one of my favorites. I liked history. Um, uh, I liked geography, I, and I had, took a auto shop. I liked that. Um, yeah, but math, English, and yeah, 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 so you can probably tell. But yeah. <laughs> were you involved in? You said high school wasn't. You went to public high school. Were you involved like a youth group growing up? Yeah, I went uh, at our church. Uh, at that time, when I was in high school, we were actually going to a different church. And uh, I had a youth group at church, and, and guys there, in fact, some of the guys who were sponsors were college students. And, you know, like a couple of them went to Bob Jones University and that kind of thing. But real athletic guys uh, like to go do the outdoor kind of things. You know, we go to Four Peaks, hike Four Peaks. We go, you know, up to Sedona, hike in Sedona. And they'd always take us along, you know, to do that. And they were a lot of fun. So. That's what I remember. And then also, you know, getting together for a more biblical kind of atmosphere. They were really good at uh, leading, leading questions and answering questions and, and creating an atmosphere where we wanted to be there. So what were some of your favorite takeaways from high school? What was your, like if you say, the top memories of high school? Oh, boy. Well, high school, not so much. But I think um, my youth group, just the impact they had on me. I, you know, I was a shy kid. Um, but I do remember going to the library at Cortez and I had all these tracks. I had like, there were like 75 tracks. So I went through uh, the library and just picked random books and put a track. That's awesome. <laughs> and these, so I, I spent an hour just throwing tracks, you know, but it, it, they had such an impact on me. And I also remember going down, uh, you know, down to uh, prison fellowship and mm -hmm. doing things with them. And then uh, each rescue mission going down there and being involved down there. But, you know, these young guys, these college students, they really mentored us well. They, you know, they set the example, uh, the kind of example that a young man like me would follow. And so um, that's the best memory for, for me from high school. What, so, you know, you have so many grandkids that love you. What was some of the advice you give them? Like, hey, when you guys get to high school, what's some of the stuff you tell them, hey, this is what you need to do? I, you know, it's, a, it's not an easy question to answer, but I would say don't be a follower. You know, you know, you know, and your, through your parents, through church, the kinds of things that you, that you need to look out for. And don't get sucked into them to the point now you regret your decisions. You know, Christ does forgive us of our mistakes. But sometimes there's mistakes we make that can be very detrimental and, and mistakes that we pay for for the rest of our lives. Mm. And, um, but I would tell you, just always be on your guard. Don't, don't be afraid to take a stand, you know, because in reality, um, you know, people respect you more for taking a stand than going along 
and they think you, they've sucked you in. That happened to me a lot in that service where guys tried to get me to do stuff that was against uh, my Christian principles. And, um, and, they, and they were prodding me and trying to get me to do that. And, and not, I'm not setting myself up with any kind of martyr, but because of what those guys in high school had done for me as far as setting an example, uh, I was able to put my foot down in certain areas where I wouldn't cross the line. And um, so, but always be ready to share your faith, always be kind mm -hmm. to people, um, and, and be a good listener. I think that's the biggest one because a lot of people, uh, even when you're young, have problems. And, uh, and once you sense that they're trying to tell you something, listen and be a good listener. And you have the answers. That, you know, as a Christian young person, you have those answers. That's awesome. Where did you go after high school and why? I went to Glendale Community for a semester. At that time, uh, there was, uh, they were drafting and I had a low lottery number, so I didn't want to be <laughs> uh, drafted. So I joined the Navy. So I went to the Navy for four years, and then uh, after the Navy, I came out and I went back to Glendale, and then I went to ASU. With the ASU, talk about the Navy a little bit. What did you learn through the Navy? Oh wow! Well, you grow up. Number one, number one, you know, you learn right up, right off the bat in boot camp that uh, there are people that want your time, want your attention, and they're only going to, and you're only going to give it to to them the way they want it. So you have to, you have to know that what's important to you, it doesn't count anymore. Mm. It's what, what's important to them. And what they're trying to do is get, get you to work with your, with your fellow sailors um, as, as one. And so the only way they can do that is get, get you away from what's important to you. They know what's important for you at that point because there's a purpose. And the purpose is that you all work together for the greater the good. And this, it, 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 at this point, it would be the Navy and the service that, that you're gonna provide for them. We have a